玩三天，来到了位于 Church Street 三百零五号的中式特色快餐店，在现代的装潢中回味一下传统中国美食的滋味。必须有一家开张不到一年的中式快餐店，却已经声名远播了。不仅是因为这边的装潢清新舒适，更重要的是这边以中式的传统馒头制作出各式美味的三明治，既满足了您的胃口，又让追求新鲜的食客们眼界大开。和我一起到这家反传统的中式快餐店 p r o v i n c e 去看看吧。餐厅的装潢简单中透出独具匠心，大大的玻璃窗让餐厅采光一流，原木色的积木搭建以简单的方式为食客们营造现代舒适又不失浪漫的就餐氛围。餐厅还提供了中西流行杂志，让食客就餐时也能够了解流行资讯。这就是这边的主人之一，很漂亮的 Annie， 给我们介绍一下这家很可爱的快餐店的一些背景资料。Hi Annie, how are you? Hi, great, thanks, thanks for coming by. Thank you for having us. This is such a cute little place. Thank you. <laughs> so I heard it's still fairly new, and you already got a lot of attention. Yep,、uh, we've been open since late last August.、Mm. So it's not even a year yet. Yeah, it's not、wow. even a year. So what was the idea behind it?、Uh, well, we drew upon our. You know, childhoods, what we ate growing up,、mm. as influence. We wanted to open up a casual, affordable spot in this neighborhood.、Mm. So yeah, mantou, as you mentioned, something that a lot of Chinese people are so familiar、mm -hmm. with. But I think for non-Asian, they kind of they don't know what it is. But you make it into like a kind of hamburger type. So what's the response you get from non-Asian? Well.、Um, The response has been really positive because since it is in a sand sandwich format and that's a really familiar food item、mm -hmm. to most people, they're willing to give it a try and、mm -hmm. they seem to enjoy it. Wow! So would you say it's a Chinese comfort food or American comfort food? I would say it's Chinese comfort food, but with a little twist. Oh, is it a little modern and Western twist? Yeah, yeah.、Oh, that's very nice. So we kind of introduce Chinese food to more、uh, brighter and, and broader audience, right? I like to think so. I hope so. <laughs>餐厅最受欢迎的就是馒头三明治，馒头要好吃，面团的发酵好坏是关键。来自中国大陆的面点师傅巧手制作下，一个个沾上了芝麻的馒头，又松又软，搭配上各式的夹心馅料，味道又好
凉面也成为了热衷的菜色。芝麻油、黄瓜丝、胡萝卜丝，味道一流的油豆腐，加上爽口的面条和凉面酱。北方的家常小吃，登堂入室，就在这家快餐店里，成为了各国食客们交口称赞的美食。谢谢。哇，看看杂志，享受一下精致的快餐。没想到一个繁忙的下午也可以变得这么轻松又写意呢。这边最受欢迎的两个三明治呢，就是这边的牛肉口味，还有红烧猪肉口味的。嗯，闻起来真的是很香呢，尝尝看味道如何呢？加上泡菜的韩式口味的牛肉，嗯，哇，外面的馒头呢是有点甜甜的，嗯，加上香香的芝麻口味，中间呢是咸咸甜甜的牛肉，加上辣辣的泡菜，嗯，风味绝佳呢。然后尝尝看这边的猪肉，听说呢这是连皮带肉的红烧猪肉，配上香菜还有酸黄瓜。嗯，好大一口，嗯，哇哦，这个味道呢更加的爽口，更加的开胃了。酸酸甜甜的黄瓜，加上味道非常棒的卤猪肉，嗯，如果夏天快到了，大家想要尝一些不同一点的、比较清爽一点的食物呢，这边有另一道也非常受到欢迎的，就是凉面，嗯，加上一点的酱料，嗯。然后呢，再搅拌一下，尝尝看。而且呢，更棒的是这个是素的、哦、素的豆腐在上面，所以也不用怕夏天的时候吃太多的卡路里或者吃太多的肉，太过的油腻。嗯，嗯，非常清爽，有这个麻油的味道，而且呢，甜甜的、凉凉的，非常开胃，非常适合在夏天里面吃呢。嗯，还加上这边特色的汽水，真是太棒了。的灵感加上一些敢于冒险的精神，这家快餐店给予中国传统的美食一个全新的定义。尤其是这边因为价格较为的便宜，成为了翠贝卡地区的一个热点餐厅呢。如果来到这附近的时候，不想荷包损失太多，不妨来到这家价廉物美的快餐店坐坐了。感谢收看这一期的纽约晚餐厅，我们下期再会。